Hello. This is a very short one. Obsessive compulsive disorder. I don't know, but there are some records that I love so much that I end up with multiple copies, especially when they're not particularly common or rare. I'm going to show one 45 45s of the one song and band. Okay, now, uh, many people of a certain age, my age, you know, 69, will remember um, Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Yeah, out of Detroit and just a great stuff. Well, they split up. Um, Mitch Ryder split from the Detroit Wheels. But it's always... Uh, to cut to the chase, in 1968 in Sydney, Australia, there was a hit on the radio, quite a big one in Australia, called Linda Sue Dixon by the Detroit Wheels, backed with Tally Ho. Now, El Linda Sue Dixon, of course, if you take the initials of each word, spell LSD, and that's what the song's about. Um, yes, and but the B-side, Tally Ho, was the first time any of us young blokes had heard the F word on a 45. We could not believe what we were hearing. Yeah, the big fucking hips shake from side to side. Now, that was pretty... Pretty scary stuff in state old Australia back then. Okay, we have a... a sorry, I've been up since 2am watching the wonderful 45 RPM audio file channel with his new mate Danny and Madam Sin with his Bo Diddley collection. I mean, I got Diddley Squat Bo Diddley. I got the single, Who Do You Love? Yeah. I used to have a few of those albums. Sadly gone. Um, yeah, so getting cutting to the chase. I've had what two triple strength coffees. Um, I'm sort of jittery, you know. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm jazzed up on caffeine and nicotine. So, what can one do? So, what I'll do is I'll show the uh, the Australian copies I have, and these are in great nick. This is um, Madam Sim will dig this. London label, Linda Sue Dixon, the Detroit Wheels, backed with Tally Ho, the notorious Tally Ho. Great, great double-sided single list, but Linda Sue Dixon, Dixon is, oh, you know, my top 10 singles of all time. This is in it. It could be anywhere from 1 to 10. doesn't matter. I just love it beyond. It is rough. It's raunchy. It's the guitar. Jim McCarthy. Not McCartney, Jim McCarty, who ended up in that dreadful band called Cactus. Um, his guitar is ripping on this. This is a killer stomping track. Unbelievable. So, that's another copy, Australian copy, in a London bag. This, uh, this bag's very beaten up, but uh, it's better than not having one at all. And so here we go. Um, the original, I got three American originals in their original sleeves. This is the US copy, which is a bit more exciting looking than the London label on the Inferno label. With Tally Ho on the back. Another copy of Linda Sue Dixon, American Inferno. And a third copy. The only difference with this one is, 
this one will really get off on. It's, um, DJ copy, not for sale. And, um, yeah. Whoops. Now oh, you. Linda Sue Dixon, did you see that? I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was having an acid flashback. <laughs> I really did. Holy shit. I'm, I'm thinking, where the hell's Tally Ho? And then it's the DJ copy not for sale. Both sides has got Linda Sue Dixon on it. This is the greatest single of all time because it's got my top, one of my top 10 favorite 45s of all time. You get it on both sides. What more do you want? So there's, there she blows. Yep, yep. Anyway, so, um, I'll have to have another triple strength coffee soon. Then have a good, nice big shit if I can manage that. Um, fried eggs for brekkie later, about 11 a.m. So I just wanted to show the greatest Beatles record ever made. And this is um, on the London label in a beautiful sleeve. Look at that. This is an original Aussie London sleeve from the 1960s. It's, it's immaculate. And it contains an immaculate copy of the greatest Beatles single ever. Lies, the Knickerbockers. If you've never heard it, look it up on YouTube. Came out around the time of help or just after or, you know, in that mid sixties type period. And it just sounded like the latest Beatles single. And I remember hearing it and I was thinking, shit, this is the best single I've ever done. And they, they turned out to be a bunch of middle aged Italian blokes from New York. And the B side, the coming generation, the Nick, Knickerbockers. Well, these guys were the going generation, but the, I don't know how they did it. And then Madam Sin will dig this because uh, if he's watching it, geezer. Um, yeah, that New Zealand band on Zodiac, the 4B4s four, four or something, they do a good version of um, One Track Mine, but uh, I've got the Knickerbockers original, uh, on, on, an original US copy. Uh, Lies and One Track Mine, mate. Holy crap. This is going to be a short one. What the hell's going on? I'm jazzed on coffee, nicotine, and I'm having acid flashbacks. Bye-bye now.